Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure the asset management for Blender 2.8, taking account that this version is in alpha stage. So, click on Edit, choose Preferences, go on Add-ons, click on Install. Now you will select the zip of the add-on, always the zip, never unzip the add-on, always use the zip. Click on Install Add-on from File. Now you will activate it here and you will open this. You will have the preferences of the add-on. But first, if you already have libraries from Blender 279, you can retrieve them. That means you will click on this button. But first, you need to read this. You need to select the custom file path in do your previous library. So, to add your old 279 libraries, select the file custom file path that you will find in the following path. Your old main library, extra file, custom file path. So now, click on the button. I will come here. Select your previous library. Go in extra file. Select the custom file path and click on add 279 libraries and that's it if now i come here in the end panel i will have my previous library to see it i will just click here just to show you this this is as simple as that before showing you how it works i will show you how to create a new if you don't have any uh, library if you don't have a previous library from 279 i will show you so, you will just click here and you will click on add a new library, like that. You will select the path, that means you will click here, you will go on the directory you want and you will create a new directory. Let's see uh, Toto, like that. I will come back, enter inside and I will click on accept. And now I will have to choose uh, between uh, the categories I want. Uh, assets, materials, HDRs, and scene. I want everything. And I will click on apply. And that's it. Now I have my new library. But in my new library, on each settings, I need to add categories. That means on the assets, I need to add a new category. So I will click on a new category. I will name it uh, A. And I will press enter and I will valid. Okay. I will now click here. As you can see, you are in, this is the asset. This is the category you just created. And you have a little plus here. This is to add assets. And you have a little plus here. This is to add categories in categories. That means I will click here. I will name uh, A1. I will valid. I will click here. Uh, in fact, here, my bad. A. Two, valid. And as you can see, I have A, A1, A2. And in A1, I can create another category. A1, 1. I will valid. Etc. This is infinite. You can do uh, as many categories inside uh, other categories as you want. So this is nice. I can remove this one by clicking on X. You will have to valid with yes. Yep. Enter and valid. So that's it. If I want to create B, I will select this one. I will click on plus. I will name it B. Enter. Valid. Select B plus B1. Enter. Valid. Plus B2. Enter. And valid. Etc. Etc. As you can see, this is pretty simple. You can select A, you can select B, etc. In A, you can add uh, uh, assets, or you can just add assets in A1, or A2, or B1, or B2. So we will add this one. I will click on the plus. You will have this uh, menu. So you can add selected object. You can add parents. That means if this object is a child of another object, that will add the parent, that will add everything. Or if this object have some child, uh, you will uh, add the child to the uh, library too. Okay? After, you will have the name and the render type. EV, cycle, and thumbnail. 
Thumbnail will be like Blender 279, that means you will make the render yourself. You will choose the rendered on the uh, render result, or you will uh, select a file from your, f your disk, just like that. Uh, this time I will choose Cycle. On this one you can uh, use the uh, current material of the object, if the object has materials, or not. After you will choose the uh, format, JPEG or PNG, and you will see this, and if everything is correct, you will be able to export. As you can see in the thumb, uh, you don't have the valid image here. I will have to select uh, some image. Let's see if I have something correct here. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yes, I will select this one. And that's it. Now everything is green. I can export. Okay. But I want to use Cycle to show you. And everything is green. I will click on export. So for now, this is pretty slow. You will see. We will try to improve this, but on 2.8 uh, 2 right now it's pretty slow, so let's hope that will be better later. We have to wait a little. And that's it, we have our cube. Let's see, let's add um, a modifier, a bevel on this one. Add some segments, play with this one, add shade smooth, name the cube one and we will add this cube so we are in the a1 here uh, we already have uh, some assets so now you need to click here plus cube one cycle everything is green export so this is uh, pretty much the same as the uh, previous version of the asset management once you know how to do to do it it's pretty simple and it's pretty fast, <laughs> not the render, but uh, it should be better. So now you have cube one, fine, cube and cube one in your library. Okay. So what is this and what is this? This is to hide this if you don't want to see it. If you click here, you will have the current uh, selected uh, library. Okay. But if you have another library, let's see, we have this cube and this cube uh, have a different uh, bevel. So let's see, we will remove this one and we will add another bevel on this one. We will add uh, four segments and we will play with this. Okay, so this is uh, another cube. Let's see, cube 2. We will add it to A2. I will click on plus. I will choose cycle. Everything is green and I will click on export. I will have to wait a little. Mm -hmm. Did I? Yes, I clicked. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Now, if I select, I will have this one. If I select this one, I will have this one. But I want both. So how to do this? I will just click here and here. And now if I click here, boom, I have both. I have this one and I have this one. So as you can see, uh, contrary to the previous uh, asset management uh, on two, Blender 279, now you can add more than one preview and you will be able to do whatever you want. So let's just to an example, I will click, uh, come back on my asset management and in fact you can change uh, on the on the fly the uh, deliveries and let's see I want to uh, add this one uh, I want to add this one and I want to add this one I will just click here and boom I have everything I have this I have this and I have this so pretty pretty simple and uh, pretty easy and I really like it okay so this is much better than the previous one so uh, you have some other options here so import types append if you want to choose append or this one will be link so append will happen in this scene link will link in this scene you have some options here like uh, in the previous version in fact uh, show previous name uh, show label in the previous use existing materials snap to face if you want uh, you can lock this one to come and select without uh, adding in this scene and after you will have some options, uh, IME bail tool, IM tool, etc. Boom. Some options like that. So this is for the assets. As you can see, this is pretty, pretty simple. I will come back here. 
I will uh, click here. I want to add a new categories. Uh, let's name it interior, like that, and valid. Now I will click and uh, I will have my HDRI. I will have my first category, interior, and I will click here. In fact, I can add category in category in category, but I want to add one. So I will click on plus, I will select this, and I will select this one, and I will click on add EBL. So that's it. I created my EBL. If I want, I will click on setup environment. If I go in EV, and that's it. I have my environment directly in my scene. Okay, so this is pretty simple. I want to add a new one, I will click here. I will go, let's see, in my previous, in my HDRI, HDRI, interior, I will have some other. So let's see, let's use this one. I will click on add EBL and that's it. I have now this one, I can set up it like that, or I can set up this one like that. After, you will have the same options as the previous version of the asset management. You can make it visible or not. You can change the background like that. I personally would like to add some presets for the background or to, uh, as you can see here, uh, I know you, we cannot on this, on this one, but I would like to add a, a gradient, uh, uh, spherical gradient or a normal linear gradient could be nice also. And you have the options, uh, strength, uh, etc, etc. This is exactly like the previous version of the asset management. So for the shaders, this is uh, in fact the same. I will need to add a new category. So uh, test, boom. I will click and boom. I will have my first test here. Uh, let's add the first shader on this one. I will come here. Uh, I already have a material on this one, so I will remove it. I will create a new one. Let's make, uh, in fact, I will not use uh, this one. I will just use a cube. Up. I will uh, cube, not a cube, a sphere. Uh, let's use a sphere, shade smooth, and let's add a subdivision surface. So, on our material, we will click on new. I can name it. Uh, I will name it black. Okay. I will choose the color. I will choose something black like that. I will play with the roughness. So, first, I want to make this with the roughness like that. Black plastic. We will rename it plastic black. We make uh, some pretty simple uh, shaders. No need to make uh, something complicated for this one. Okay, so plastic black should be correct on this one. And what I will do is click here and I will use an um, EV cycle or an image. In this one, I will use EV. You can choose a uh, different. Uh, type of materials, as you can see. I will click on this one. I have some setups for EVs. Uh, for EV, the sample, the resolution, everything is okay. I will click on export and I will just have to wait a little. And that's it. Uh, this is normal. Oop, my bad. Come back. I have my first shader directly here. If I duplicate this one, uh, plastic red, Yes, enter. I will change the color to red. Yep. Like that. Make it more like that. Uh, I should be able to add it. So same. Plus. I keep the same setting. And uh, I can use cycle maybe. Let's try with cycle. And we will just have to wait a little. And that's it. Now I have two shaders, enfin, two renders, one with EV and one with cycle. And if I add uh, an object, boom, for example, let's see, uh, let's add Suzanne, or maybe let's add it from, uh, boom. where is my Suzanne? Ah, I don't have my Suzanne here. So let's add a Suzanne, maybe, no, it was on this one. Ah oh, non, I forgot, I think uh, I thought I would added my Suzanne. Let's add Suzanne, in fact. Uh, I will come here, I will add a subdivision surface. I will activate Shade Smooth, and why not add this one, boom. And we have Suzanne, come here. I will come on this one. Uh, in fact, I will just uh, to see I can do this, or I can come here. 
and I should be able to do this. But in fact, yes, as you can see, you need to come here to be able to add it on this one because I'm not sure which one is selected on this one. So let's see. I will add it on this one plus Suzanne. Everything is correct. Export. So as you can see, the workflow is exactly the same as the previous version of the asset management. This is pretty simple, but you need to, ch I forgot one thing. Uh, I will remove this one. Okay. You need to read everything as you can, as you can see, use object material and export. Read everything you see, because if you don't, you will not know what to do. And uh, you will come back on the Discord. Ah, the add-on doesn't work. It's not good. <laughs> I uh, add a dislike on the video of YouTube. <laughs> so that's it. My uh, Suzanne directly in this one. If I come here, as you can see, I think if I click here on the plus, that will add this, add it to this selected. As you can see, let's try on the A1 plus Suzanne. Let's use EV and export. Maybe I should have selected a different shadow, but uh, we will see it. Normally, that will do what I want. Yes, and indeed, that do that do what I want. So one EV, one cycle, as you can see, the render is not exactly the same. We cannot do exactly the same, but uh, later you will be able to add your own uh, render set, render scene, uh, like for the uh, materials. That will be really useful. So as you can see on the materials, you will also have some options. Uh, ta Normally, uh, you will, uh, we will have more options for the material. Uh, use existing materials, etc. So uh, that's it now for the scenes. So let's add a new scene. Uh, tutu. Valid. Bam. Uh, plus scene. Uh, Suzanne. Uh, ta ah, on this one, you can, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Ah. Uh, we need to add, uh, the OpenGL render like we did on 279. That will come later. But just right now, I will do this. I will make a render. Uh, normally I should be able to, 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 to. I am with Eevee. Hopla. Yes. Render. But normally I should be able to make a render here. View. Yes. Uh, ta -ta, viewport render image and that's it no, now I will have my render result it will be ok I will click on export and that's it I have my scene this scene so that's it this is pretty simple it's a little bit different from this part um, because you have more possibilities and you can add categories in categories in categories in categories uh, like that you uh, you can do whatever you want you can add uh, you will be able to add a render scene to use uh, other uh, render engine uh, arnold uh, etc redshift when when it will be uh, available octane etc and uh, you will be able to do the same for the materials, for the HDREs. If I want on this one, I can uh, add another HDRE. Uh, exterior. Boom. I will click here. I will click here. Plus. I will go on my exterior. Exterior. EBL. I will press A. And I will click. That will add all of this of those um, EBL. Directly in my library. Just have to wait a little because we will make a render of each eBL to have a thumbnail like that. And some are pretty huge. And that's it. It was a little long, but as you can see, I have now all my shadows of my eBL and I will be able to click. This one is a big one and I should have it in my scene. And that's it. I can, in fact, uh, make a rotation of this one, just like that. I would like to add a shortcut uh, for the asset management to rotate the EBL with a shortcut. Could be really, really nice and really useful. And we will not have to come here. And uh, I think we will do this. Or you can just show it if you want, etc., etc.
So that's it. Uh, you can go on the other uh, EBL. I can come here. Oh, not EBL, my, uh, my bad. Uh, library. You can add as many library as you want. You can place them uh, where you want. And as you can see, this is uh, pretty nice. And if you want, you can remove a library. I will select this one. I will click here. And I will click on remove the active library. And you have one ch uh, two choices. Uh, from the database, that means uh, that will remove from the add-on. But not from your hard drive. You will not lose your library. Or from the hard drive. So I will just ch uh, choose database. And I will click on remove. And that's it. Now I will only have this one. Okay. But I want to add the other one. So uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, add a new library. I will select my uh, library pass. So on this one, let's come here. It was, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. what was the name on this one? Toto? <laughs> I don't remember. And apply. And normally I should have everything up I want. So there is nothing here, so I cannot if I click. And that's it, that work. Bam. And on this one, I can click here. Bam. Same here. Same for the HDRE. If you have different HDRE type, click, click, you can click here. And that's it. So that's it. I will stop here. Hope you like this new version of the asset management. Uh, the uh, dev is Pistewick, aka Jeremy Le Gigant. And uh, I think he made a pretty, uh, pretty good word, uh, work. And on the, uh, the next update, uh, we will make it better. We will add uh, the OpenGL render because uh, we, have, uh, we have a lot of possibilities with the OpenGL. Here, matcaps, uh, flat, uh, etc. etc. And that would be nice for the scene too, for the assets that would be faster with the OpenGL, uh, faster than EV, faster than Cycle, and you will be also uh, able to use EV. In fact, your own EV on this scene, etc., etc. You will uh, add the uh, the uh, the pop-up for the asset management, etc., etc. Okay, so it's late. I will stop here. Hope you like it, and see you later.